This presentation will discuss storage solutions for maize. Maize is widely consumed worldwide as food and feed. Maize can adapt to various climate conditions and is widely grown as cereal crop. Maize contains huge percentage of starch or carbohydrates and certain percentage of protein and fat. It also contains vitamins and minerals such as phosphorus, calcium, iron, niacin, riboflavin, and thiamine. Maize post-harvest process must be carefully chosen to maintain its overall quality. Two post-harvest processes that affect the quality of maize during long-term storage are drying and storage. These two processes must be carefully done to make sure that the commodity is well preserved. This presentation will cover things to remember when drying maize and its importance in maintaining the quality of maize for storage. Some solutions for long-term storage of maize will be also discussed. Challenges of storing maize will be also covered. There are numerous factors that must be considered for successful drying. Agricultural commodities that are improperly dried could impact overall quality of the produce. Sensory attributes of food such as color, texture, flavor, and aroma are affected. Uneven moisture of stock could contain high MC above safe moisture for storage. High moisture content of the stock allows molds to grow, which also produces mycotoxins. Here are some notes of a successful drying. Moisture content of maize from fresh harvest must be reduced to 13.5% or lower which is equivalent to 65% relative humidity to inhibit or prevent growth of molds and bacteria. Drying uniformity is necessary and this can be done by regular mixing especially when using sun drying method. This is to prevent accumulation of moisture of the commodity that are not exposed to the drying air. Mixing every 30 minutes during initial stage must be practiced and less frequent mixing can be done as moisture content approaches the recommended 13.5%. Non-uniform drying results in high moisture of stock as this allows some moisture to accumulate. When the resulting moisture of the stock contains higher than 13.5%, this becomes favorable to mold or microbial growth. Improper drying always results in quality deterioration. This can render maize not suitable for further processing or consumption. Uniformity must be observed during drying of commodities. Protection from sudden rain is also important to prevent rewetting. The Grainful Solar Bubble Dryer is equipped with blower and transparent cover which enables drying during intermittent rain. The collapsible dryer case or CDC2 can be utilized as alternative to pavement drying, which enables the user to immediately cover the grains in case of sudden rain by the pulling straps and zipper attached to the dryer sheet. Spillage is also prevented because of CDC's inflatable sidewall. The bubble dryer or elevated rocks are recommended when drying commodities with high moisture, allowing the commodity to expose large portions of its surface area to the drying air. The amount of commodity placed on the drying floor must be around 4 cm thick. Regular mixing must be also practiced. A recommendation is to mix every 30 minutes during initial period and every 1 hour on the late stage of drying. These recommendations are in place to achieve the uniform drying and prevent uneven moisture. When drying, quality of grains must be also considered. The right timing and temperature must be observed. Exposing the commodity right away into high temperature after harvest would lead to case hardening, which results in uneven moisture content. Various drying technology are utilized for drying. Consider methods that are less expensive and environment friendly. There are now dryers that utilize renewable energy such as solar, wind, and biofuels. Cleanliness of drying operation must be observed to prevent contamination. The commodities must be protected from soil contact, stones, stray animals, rodents, and pests. 
Once the maize is dried into safe moisture level of 13.5% or lower, choose a storage method that will allow successfully storing the commodity for long term. There are several problems that need to be resolved to store maize successfully while preserving its overall quality. Here are some notes why we store maize. One reason is to lessen the cost due to price fluctuations. During harvest season, price of maize becomes low while price increases significantly during lean season. Buffer stock is also necessary for continuous supply of maize in case of market shortage due to natural calamity. Moreover, storing necessary amount of maize ensures continuous supply throughout the year. With this, a storage method that can protect the quality of maize must be utilized. This is to prevent deterioration, spoilage, and contamination of maize during long-term storage. When storing maize, several issues should be resolved. Various elements cause the maize to deteriorate over time during storage. If these elements are not properly controlled or eliminated, they can render maize to be useless due to spoilage and contamination. One of the main vectors that causes grain deterioration is insect infestation. Insects are classified into external and internal feeders. The stages of insects that cause significant damage to grains are adults and larvae. In Africa, main insect pests in stored maize are the larger grain water and maize weevils which cause high percentage weight loss. The losses are due to ineffective storage structures such as cribs, jutes, and pp bags. Insects also acts as vectors of toxin-producing fungi. High degree of insect attack could be devastating since the level of damage caused by insect pests influence the extent of mycotoxins in the stored maize. Insects also create hot spots within the grain stocks. Increase in temperature in these spots accelerates enzyme activity which often leads to chemical changes and nutrient loss. When handling maize, one has to remember that cracked or broken grains provide an entry point for infestation by insects and molds during storage. To prevent or inhibit mold growth, the grains prior to storage must be dried properly up to 13.5% for maize. The 13.5% MC for maize is equivalent to approximately 65% relative humidity or RH. A relative humidity lower than 65% does not allow molds to grow. Along with growth of molds during storage, quality of maize are also affected due to accelerated enzyme activity which in turn lead to nutrient loss and discoloration. Molds also uses the grains as substrate which results in dry matter or weight loss. Molds also cause the commodities to deteriorate during storage. When proliferated with molds during long-term storage, stocks become unfit for consumption which render them as loss. Insect infestation and mold growth are usually prevalent in tropical countries where most of the grains are produced. We will discuss what makes the tropical weather favorable for insects and molds. The prevailing relative humidity and temperature in tropical countries are mostly high throughout the year. Most of the time, the RH is more than 65% or even reaches up to 100%. RH or relative humidity is the amount of water vapor present in the air. When grains that are previously dried to 65% RH is exposed to the surrounding air, which is almost saturated with water, these grains will absorb moisture from the air. High relative humidity also favors insect development and activities. More active insects can cause more damage to the grains, affecting the quality of the stored commodity. Temperature also influences insect activities. Tropical areas are mostly at 25 degrees Celsius or higher, which is an ideal condition for insects to grow and multiply. At lower temperature, insects tend to hibernate and cause less damage to stored grains. When maize absorbs moisture from the surrounding air, it can reach an RH which is greater than 70%. Molds will start to grow with higher RH. 
These molds cause spoilage and damage to soy maize. Some of these molds produce mycotoxins that are causing severe illness to humans and also affects the livestock. Some mold species produce mycotoxins that causes various illness to both humans and animals. Aflatoxins can cause acute poisoning, liver cancer, stunting and impairment growth in children. The Kenyan aflatoxicosis epidemic claimed human lives. Humonicines were reported after an outbreak in horses fed with moldy maize in South Africa. Humonicines compromise health of animals and possibly cause cancer to humans. With all the issues of soaring maize in tropical areas, how can we make sure that maize are properly protected even in a surrounding air that contains air saturated with water vapor? How can we prevent the damages caused by insects? How can we stop mold proliferation and prevent mycotoxins from being produced? Yes! We can still store maize in tropical countries though air is saturated with vapor. Insect and molds can be controlled and eliminated. Hence, we can also prevent mycotoxin production. For this to be possible, we need to remember some important details such as properly drying maize into safe moisture content level at 13.5% or lower. Choose a storage method that will eliminate insect infestation as well as protect the commodity from the moisture of the surrounding air with high relative humidity. This will also lessen the risk due to mold growth and mycotoxins. Hermetic technology is a modified atmosphere packaging that decreases oxygen level inside a gas tight container by the respiration of the living agents inside the container, which include the insects, the grains, and microflora. While the oxygen is being consumed, carbon dioxide is also produced, hence an increase of the carbon dioxide gas is also observed in a hermetic container. With low oxygen inside a gas tight container, insects of all life stages are controlled through anoxia. At 5% oxygen level, insect activity ceases, and at 3% oxygen level, insects eventually die. Since egg also requires oxygen to survive, they are also eliminated when exposed to low oxygen level at 3% for 15 days. Hermetic technology uses gas tight or sealed container, hence also limits the entry of moisture or vapor from the surrounding air. Stored mates that are at safe moisture remains in this condition throughout the storage period. Limiting the oxygen level and preventing the entry of moisture Hermetic storage is able to control or inhibit the growth of aerobic microorganisms, including molds. When the molds are inhibited, toxin production is also prevented, making the maize safe for consumption during a long-term storage. From a study conducted by Dr. Navarro et al., using hermetic storage for maize effectively controls insects, molds, and pests. While it was observed that the maize covered with ordinary tarpaulin sheets were seriously infested and resulted in significant weight loss. As concluded by Likayo et al., the study confirms the effectiveness of super grain bag as a storage method. The initial grain moisture content remained unchanged while in PP bags it reduced. Moist grains must be properly dried to lower level before storage for a longer period to avoid spoilage due to molds and grain discoloration. Pin holes were also observed in the bags made by P. truncatus. We advise to repair the SGBs using adhesive transparent tapes in case of pin holes due to insects or any damage to allow buildup of carbon dioxide and reduction of oxygen during storage. This ensures the control over insect infestation. From a study of Dr. Ojo et al., the results show that non-hermetic storage using PP bags under tropical conditions failed to minimize grain damage and insect infestation, whereas hermetic technology minimized post-harvest losses, including fungi and insect-damaged grains, and also controlled insect infestation. 
a mother of three in Rift Valley, Kenya, is very happy of the result of storing in a hermetic storage. Dorcas can now say that she is feeding her family the best tasting ugali made from organic and high quality meat with no chemicals, no insects, and more nutritional value. Dorcas uses grain throw bags to protect meat from insect infestation during storage without using chemicals. Tortillera Zepeda, a Wisconsin-based authentic tortilla shop, uses hermetic storage to protect maize against insects and mold growth, while preserving the quality of maize with its nutrients. The cocoon indoor allows preservation of the grain without using chemicals. This is a six-month storage from July 2020 to January 2021 using the Grain Pro 106 metric ton cocoon by Haji Sons. Haji Sons utilizes Grain Pro cocoons to protect maize from insects, molds, and toxins during storage to prevent post-harvest losses. Hermetic technology protects commodities from insects and mold and eliminates entry of moisture, thus maintaining overall quality of stored maize and preventing nutrient loss during storage. If you want to learn more about GrainPro products, please do visit us at www.grainpro.com. Thank you.